The Fortnite Creative 2.0 version 28.1 update has brought all new and exciting ways for editing and creating Fortnite props, improved guards and NPC mechanics, the third-person control device, and much more. It's also completely overhauled the in-game creative inventory and My Island settings user interface, as well as fixing many annoying bugs in not just UEFN, but also Fortnite Creative and Verse Script. With that being said, in this UEFN tutorial episode, we'll go through the brand new and improved three-step process of creating custom Fortnite and destructible props. For those unaware, converting your imported asset into a Fortnite prop determines how your asset interacts with player characters, devices, other props, and the phone tool in Fortnite Creative. Converting your static mesh into a Fortnite prop also allows you to decide how your asset handles damage and destruction, and which resource type is dropped when the asset is destroyed. To begin, import or select a previously imported static mesh. For a step-by-step -step guide to importing assets into UEFN and or how to set up textures and materials, see our Import Anything into Fortnite video. In order for your mesh to receive damage or interact with players and NPCs, your mesh will need collision. For a step-by-step -step guide to creating or importing collision, see our Mastering Collision in and out of UEFN video. Select your static mesh in the content browser, then right-click on the static mesh thumbnail to open the static mesh menu. With the static mesh menu open, navigate to Scripted Asset Actions in the Common section, then select Convert to Prop, then choose the resource type for your static mesh. This creates a custom props folder that contains the prop blueprint asset based on the static mesh. The prop blueprint asset references the static mesh, but is a different class of asset with a different set of properties. When dragged into the viewport, the asset is treated like a Fortnite prop and can now be selected, moved, rotated, scaled, edited, or duplicated within the in-game editor. To make your prop able to be damaged or destroyed, right-click the Prop Blueprint thumbnail, then navigate to and select Scripted Asset Actions. In the drop-down menu select Can Be Damaged, then select Enable. At this point our prop is fully destructible. However, we still need to modify or add destruction parameters such as sound and visual effects to the actor to match your resource type. To do this, double-click the Prop Blueprint thumbnail to open the Blueprint Class Editor. Search for effects in the search bar. In the Def Sound drop-down menu, select a sound that you feel best matches your resource type. Then select a visual effect from the Death Particles drop-down menu. Additionally, we can also adjust the amount of resources the player will receive or the amount of damage your prop can take before it's destroyed. For a step-by-step -step guide on how to do this, see our How to Make Custom Destructible Objects and Props in Fortnite video. Lastly, within the Island settings, set the Pickaxe Destruction to default and ensure environment damage is set to all. And if you'd like the prop to not give players resources when it's damaged or destroyed, within the prop blueprint, set allow resource drop to false. And there you have it, the brand new simple three-step process of creating custom Fortnite props and destructible assets. And if you have any UEFN questions about new or old features, mechanics, or asset creation, be sure to leave them in the comments below. But whatever you do, always remember, don't just play, create.